Hey guys, this is Heroic Flamingo and welcome to my 2020 Beginner's Guide to Guild Wars 2. In this video I'm going to be looking at the combat system. Whatever you choose to do in Guild Wars 2, whether it be questing or exploration or world v world, it's going to involve a lot of combat. So it's quite important that you understand how the system works. And I'm going to go through the basics in this video and demonstrate how that's going to work. So the first thing I want to look at is the skill bar along the bottom. When you first start playing the game, you'll only have your number one skill and your number six skill. So don't worry if you don't have all of these options, you'll unlock them as you go along. Just to clarify, your number two will be unlocked at level two, your number three at level four, your number four at level six, your number five at level eight. You'll unlock weapon swap at level 10, which allows you to swap between two sets of weapons. Your number seven, you'll unlock at level 11, your number eight, at uh, level 15, uh, your number 9 at level 19 and the 0 here, your temp skill, which is your elite skill, you'll unlock at level 31. So just to go over what each of these skills are, your first five skills are defined by your weapons. If you've got a two-handed weapon like this great sword I'm equipping at the moment, uh, that defines your five, all five of your weapon skills there. If I weapon swap, I've got dual wield swords here as you see. So my main hand sword um, is my first two skills and my off hand sword is my fourth and fifth skills there. So if I swapped out my off hand sword for say like a shield or something like that, then that would change these two skills. And if I change my main hand, that would change my first three there. So your sixth skill here is your healing skill. So rather than there being one designated healing class in this game, uh, all classes will have their own healing slot here. So you have lots of choices to choose from, but the general gist is that they'll all heal you. Seven, eight, and nine are your utility skills. So these are uh, skills uh, based on your profession. Um, there's plenty to choose from. Uh, lots of different types. So I'm not going to go into too much detail on all the skills at the moment because I'll do a separate video all on the skill system. But effectively uh, there are more skills that you can choose and you can change whatever you want outside of combat to make you even more powerful. And this last one here, your elite skill, is generally your most powerful skill um, but you can't use it too often. I'll go through cooldowns and stuff like that in a minute. But effectively you'll have a fair few of those to choose from and they're generally quite powerful skills with, with really powerful effects. Okay, so uh, just a quick one here, there's a couple of bits here as well. Based on your profession, you'll have some profession skills at the top here, normally F1 to F4. Uh, they do different things based on each profession, uh, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. And all of your skills in general are defined by your profession. So um, even your weapon skills, if you're using a greatsword as a mesmer like I am, uh, your skills will be totally different to a warrior using a uh, greatsword. So they're defined by your profession and then also these ones defined by the weapon you've got equipped as well. Okay, so uh, just a couple more little bits at the bottom here. You've got your health bar uh, there and that will deplete as enemies attack you and do damage. Uh, pretty standard. And you've got your endurance bar here, which I'll go into dodge, dodging and rolling in a minute, which that's what expends your uh, endurance. Okay, so um, just a little look at the skills without going into too much detail. Um, if you can see there, um, when I go over that, it has at the top right of that skill window, it has two timers. The first one is three quarters of a second there, which means that's how long it takes to cast the skill. And then the one just to the right of that, which is eight seconds, that's the cooldown. So that means when I use this skill, it will take eight seconds before I can do it again. And when I demonstrate some combat in a minute, you'll see exactly how that works. Um, and, and obviously you want to be able to keep track of which skills will be coming back soon. Uh, so we'll, we'll go to that in a bit more detail. There's also a couple more things it brings up here. Um, like it says um, Might and it says Vulnerability. So you see those two there. So Might is what's called a boon and Vulnerability is a condition. Boons are positive effects that you can cast on yourself. So certain skills um, uh, and certain things will, will get a boon on you and you'll see those come up here these are the positive effects that you've got on yourself and then the um, vulnerability which is the condition conditions are negative effects that you can cast on enemies um, so for example 
um, of, of a uh, condition is bleeding, for example, which deals damage every second. Uh, it might be blinded, which means the next attack that that enemy does misses, or potentially immobilized, which means that they're unable to move for a short period of time. Um, if you want to see all of the a list of all of the uh, conditions and, and how they work, obviously just look at the Guild Wars 2 wiki and there's a page to show that. Um, the boons, a couple of examples, might increases your outgoing damage, so basically for a short period of time it increases the amount of damage you can do. Um, protection decreases incoming damage, so that means that enemies do less damage to you for as long as that is active. And, for example, regeneration, which means that you gain health every second, so basically just health regeneration. So let's first have a little look at the combat system then. So a big part of combat in Guild Wars 2, which does differ from quite a lot of other similar games, is the emphasis on movement. You have to move to be effective in combat and stay alive. So that involves just moving around, generally, from side to side, backwards and forwards, uh, just to keep out of the way of enemies, especially if you're a spellcaster. You might want to stay back if they're a melee character. As you can see, this example here, this golem, is doing a close range attack. So if I move back out of the way, it can't hit me, but I can continue to use my skills to uh, damage the enemy. Okay, so um, another big part of the movement in it is the, uh, the dodging and rolling. So, for example, um, if I go up to this enemy here, and he's about to do his attack in a minute, and I want to dodge out of the way, I can double tap a movement key, so either W, A, S, or D, and it will roll away in that direction. As you saw there, I double tapped S and I rolled backwards. Um, it shows you here. You can, there's also a you can set a button to dodge, which by default is just V. So if I click V, it rolls backwards to dodge out of the way the attacks. But obviously, if I double tap A, that rolls to that side. Double tap D, the other way, and double tap W and go forward. You can see that's using up my endurance. So you can only use that about twice, and then you'll have to wait for it to come back. Once it reaches halfway, as you can see, there you go. I can use that again. So that's a good way of evading out of the way of enemy attacks, while at the same time um, inflicting as much damage as possible. Most abilities as well can be used while you're moving. So for example, this here, you can see it's constantly shooting a beam out there, and I can move while I'm doing it. Press my number two, I can do that. Number four, so most of the abilities can be used while you're moving as well, so that just makes it even better. It's not like you have to stand still. There's certain skills that you'll have to channel um, and stuff like that which will require you to stand still so do bear that in mind but mostly you can move around so for example if I uh, attack this here see so dodging around showing you an example of just the cooldowns that come up at the bottom showing you how many seconds that you've got left Okay, this skill here, for example, uh, is a melee skill, so the range is quite low, which means I have to get close to the enemy and I can't attack him from a distance. So do have a look at each of your skills. So when you're equipped to new weapons and choosing your utility skills, make sure you give them a good read um, to see whether they... Because uh, they might seem powerful, but to be honest, you need to try them out. So you can try out different weapons to see what suits you. But uh, the all of the, the majority of these greatsword ones are have got a range, as you can see, 1200 there. Uh, that means that I can attack them from quite a distance, whereas this one is only 130, so basically I have to be standing right next to him. So do bear that in mind. Um, it's harder to obviously dodge out the way attacks when I'm standing right next to him. So you're going to want to bear that in mind when you're choosing which weapons you want to use. Okay, so before we move into any combat, I just wanted to show you ground targeted abilities. So as you can see, this one here, this number 3, it has a ground targeted symbol there. And that means you have to target on the ground where you want to use it. Um, so if I hold down number three, it's letting me place it where I want, so if I want to place it on the enemy, I let go of number three, and that then damages it there. So that's a, like an area of effect skill, so if there's multiple people in the area, it will affect all of them. So those skills can be pretty powerful, so you want to keep an eye out for that. A uh, quick setting that you might want to change, if you saw there, I obviously held down the thing and then released it to use the skill. A couple of options you can do, so if you go to your game menu at the top or press escape, go to your options. Uh, in the, in here there should be an option 
for yep so combat down here ground targeting so there's three options um, you've got normal which means uh, you press so for example I press the number three and it would show the symbol on the floor then I press it once again to use the skill I've got it on fast with range indicator which basically speeds it up a little bit which means I can just hold down the uh, number three and let go as soon as possible which means I don't have to press it twice so I can do it a bit quicker so that's probably what I'd recommend but you can also do instant which you press the number three and it will just use the skill but obviously that depends on where your mouse is at the time so to us I would go with the option that I've got which is fast with range indicator I think that's the best option to choose there okay so let's give it a little go here so what I'm doing at the moment is I'm in the uh, PvP area where you can fight some enemies so it's just an example of that but there's different professions here and I can fight them and just try out skills so what I'm going to do is I'm going to link together a few things here I'm going to use my skills I'm going to swap weapons to utilize the bars because obviously while all of your skills here on this weapon are on cooldown you're going to want to swap over to your other weapon set to utilize them as well so you can do as much damage as possible because while your skills are on cooldown and you're just using the number one ability you're not going to be doing as much damage So just on the subject of the number one ability it's currently set to auto attack using your number one ability which is pretty standard because it hasn't got a cooldown you can change this it says there if you hold control and right click on your mouse that will disable that and you can see uh, I can set it to another one and it has the little um, arrows around it to show that that's your auto attack but because that one has a cooldown it wouldn't be smart to set that as your auto attack so to be honest I would recommend just keeping that as your number one skill but obviously you can customize that as you see fit so let's give this a go so I'll use my range abilities to attack this enemy and then I might want to get a bit closer switch to my melee weapon do some damage up close I'm going to use my healing ability as well, my number 6 you see, that brings some of my health back. And this is only really a case in PvP, but the enemy is now downed and I can finish them off. But generally in normal combat, once the enemy's health is depleted, they'll be dead. So if you caught that, that was just a basic example of using your weapon skills there. Obviously you've got your utility skills over here, so you might want to use those as well. So I'll do an example of utilizing some of those as well. So I might want to use some of those. And also my professional abilities here to shatter my illusion. You can use a, that skill pushes them back. This gives me a good opportunity to show you the down state. You see now I'm down. I get a whole new set of skills that I use to fight the enemy. If you kill the enemy while you're downed, then you're going to come back up like I did there and rally. So your your two options are, when you're down, you can kill, the, kill an enemy and you'll get back up. Or another option is that you um, can use the number four skill when you're down to revive yourself. But if you're attacked by an enemy while you're doing it and you're interrupted, then um, that will have a cooldown so you'll probably end up dying. So to be honest, if you are down, um, what you want to do is find the weakest enemy and try and kill them to get yourself back up again. Do not abandon me. Okay. So let's go find an enemy that we can fight to show a couple of other things off. So a couple of other things I want to show is um, red, the red circles that come up for area of effectiveness that are casted by enemies. So, what I mean by that, I'll show you now, this is a good opportunity to start using the dodge as well. As you can see, they've casted a ground target with effect, which is shown by a red circle. So that's when you want to start using your dodge roll to get out of the way of that. To obviously uh, negate any damage. If I stood right in the middle of that, and as you can imagine, that's going to cause me to have a lot of damage taken and potentially go down. So those key features rolling out of the way, like I should have done there, um, when there's red circles on the floor, so stay out of them, um, that's obviously one of the key things to do. Uh, you're going to want to look at your skills and see what boons they put on you, what conditions they cast on enemies to get as, far, as dam much damage as possible. 
Uh, so I'll be going in more detail in another uh, video into the skills and trait system and then also I'll do ones on each profession having a look at their skills. So what I just wanted to do was just show you how the combat works, just the basics of it. And I think that's pretty much all of the basics I wanted to go over in this video. So I'll just give you one example, one more example here. I'll fight this enemy and then we'll leave you to it. So as I said, you want to utilize as many skills as possible. Uh, finish off the enemy as quickly as possible. There you go. And there you go. And obviously, normally when you kill an enemy, you'll get XP, fill up your XP bar, you get your loot. So to be honest, it's a big part of it. And that's pretty ideal. Okay, so I think that's everything for this video. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back with plenty more videos in my Guild Wars 2 Beginner's Guide for 2020. So just leave me a comment if there's something in particular you want me to do a video about or if you have any questions about the combat system or anything else, just let me know. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.